But first, our top local story, a controversy over religious practices. Tonight, a New Bedford man's barber shop has been shut down by the city after both live and dead roosters and chickens were discovered during an inspection. City officials say it borders on animal cruelty, but he tells us his religious rights have been violated. Eyewitness News reporter Stephen Schuler has both sides of the story tonight from the southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom. The state shut down the barber shop yesterday for health code violations, but the owner tells me the move violates his religious rights. New Bedford's bad boy cuts is temporarily closed for business. City officials say they found live farm animals and evidence of animal sacrifices during an inspection Tuesday. The roosters were cooped up in cages. There was one deceased uh, rooster that was in a box taped up with two live pigeons. Owner William Camacho tells me the birds had only been in the shop for a couple of days as he moved them to another location. Camacho, a priest of Palo Mayombe, practices animal sacrifice as a part of his religion. It gets sacrificed the right way, you know, it doesn't get abused. Camacho denies any sacrifices took place at the shop, although inspectors say they found two circular saws, a hacksaw with feathers lining the blade, and other ritualistic paraphernalia. The main concerns for health officials, unsanitary conditions. There is no uh, door that seals off the basement from the general public. So all of that materials, the fecal material, the, um, there were candles burning, uh, various types of incense, um, that was all traveling up to the barber shop. The city is ordering Camacho to sanitize the basement and will reinspect the building before he's allowed to reopen. We've learned New Bedford police are also looking into animal cruelty charges. Camacho calls the city's action religious discrimination, although the mayor disagrees. It's very insulting to me because what happens is that where I come from is very known. In this town, it's uh, ignorant for them. I appreciate greatly uh, this gentleman's argument that he has uh, the right to, you know, pray to whatever God he believes in and, and in a way that he thinks is appropriate. Uh, but there also is governmental responsibility to protect the public. Camacho tells me he's hired an attorney and plans to fight the city's ruling. As for the birds, we're told they'll be given up for adoption. In New Bedford with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, I'm Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News.